And last but not least, just for this plugin, there are many more types of filters, but I'm going to concentrate on these uh, types of filters at the moment, is the vowel filter. By taking several types of filters, as you've seen, most filters here are constructed by uh, adding a, a very basic building block of the low-pass filter together to create a new type of filter. If we add two low-pass filters, we get a 12 dB uh, low-pass. If we add a high-pass and a low-pass, we will get a band-pass. And here we have three band-passes that create a very interesting effect. <laughs> Yes, that's a formant filter, a vowel filter, and it creates uh, a speaking like uh, sound uh, or a vocal type of sound. And it's done by uh, taking three bandpass filters and locating them in special locations. We usually just uh, record a uh, person speaking, and uh, then uh, we just analyze the sound and see at which uh, syllable. Uh, which frequency was uh, was louder and which frequency was uh, lower, and then we can recreate this by using three bandpass filters, and here you, you have the result. That's a um, vocal filter. If you Google the following phrase, formant table, then the first place you will reach click on the first link and you will see a small table and this table is exactly what you need to create a formant filter what we have here is actually the frequencies in Hertz that you should type into the filters cutoff so if you have three band passes, you can use, by the way, you can use your own EQ at home and try this out. It's going to work. Then you type, for instance, if you want a tenor voice to say ah, then you need at least the three first filters. You don't need all of the five filters. They're indicated by F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. The first one, uh, the first three are the most important. If you take only three bands, it's enough for you to hear this uh, kind of sound. So you take an EQ and then, atten and then uh, accentuate the following frequencies. 650, 180, and 2650. This will give you a, a an A. If you take another, uh, this the same EQ and create another uh, type of uh, sound, another type of setting between three uh, bell filters, 400, 1700, and 2600 hertz on three filters separately, then you will get uh, a different sounding, uh, uh, an E vowel. And here you also have, uh, if you want to be really precise, and but you don't really have to tune, you don't have really to you don't really have to use these uh, parameters to get these uh, vocal sounds. You, you can only use the three, the three first parameters here. But if, you're really, um, uh, if you really want to dive deep, you, can, you also he here have the velocity, the amplitude of each filter. Zero would be the loudest, minus six would be two times uh, softer, minus seven would be a bit less than that, and so on. And you also have the bandwidth. The bandwidth is how much, how resonating the bandpass is. So you can use the resonance uh, to tune the resonance according to this or Q f if you're using a, if you're using a uh, an EQ. So this recipe is perfect. Let me give you the. Here you can see the address, and I'll repeat just how I got there. On Google, I just type the words formant table. Okay, this formant table 
there, uh, by the way, there are lots of format tables. Uh, I found uh, some format tables with even uh, vowels like M, N, R, L, and long, uh, they're not vowels, but long, uh, long word, uh, long letters. Mm -mm. Very interesting sites on the web uh, regarding four months. By the way, why is this happening? Why is, uh, why uh, are, uh, are these four months uh, different for each letter? Four months are created by uh, a resonating body. We ha our mouth is a resonating body and it, uh, it changes its shape and its size all the time. And the, the shape of the sound uh, and size of the resonating body uh, will also change the resonating properties of the body. But which frequencies it resonates, which frequencies are louder and which frequencies are softer. Um, and this kind of filter, for instance, this is the difference between a good guitar, a bad guitar. And this is the difference between A, E, E, O, U, each vowels that we speak.